Woo! Still in the game. Today's topic is two possible outcomes to quitting smoking weed. I've experienced both of these. Hope you find some value in this video. If weed is working for you, if you're like Joe Rogan or Snoop Dogg and you're killing it on weed and you're really happy, this video is not for you. This is more for people who are sick and tired of the beat down of weed and who are thinking about making some changes in their life. The first possible outcome uh, to quitting weed is you put the weed down, you throw it all out, you get rid of it all, and then you don't do anything. You don't do anything else. You go hang out with the same people who are smoking weed. You don't have any goals. You don't work on your fitness. You don't have uh, alternative uh, ways to get your dopamine fixes like uh, cold exposure or transcendental breathing or uh, consistent exercise. And you just c carry on. You don't change. You, you be, you, you're the same person without weed. The outcome of that is misery. And, and you return to weed. You just get so, life gets so boring and flat and, and everyone else is smoking weed and bagging on you. That sucks. That's what I would not recommend if you quit smoking weed. The other option is, is you do set some goals. You start working on your fitness. You start taking responsibility for your life. You start giving first to people. You start getting clear on the energy you want to give in life and you practice give it. You're willing to be uncomfortable and you keep throwing yourself in uncomfortable situations. And you practice things like cold exposure and transcendental breathing. And you develop a meditation practice. And uh, you set so small goals and you take small consistent actions and you start growing and you start feeling good about yourself and you start making new friends who are on a higher vibration than the, than the, than the people that are smoking weed and stuck in that, that cycle. In that situation, the outcome is sweet. You start really feeling good. You start feeling useful. New doors start opening up for you and, and light and you change and everything around you changes. And it's pretty miraculous and it's a beautiful thing. And smoke, uh, quitting smoking weed could be the best thing that you ever have done in your life. And you'll never want to go back to it. You'd rather, you'd get to the point where you'd rather drag your balls over broken glass than smoke weed. And, and your life is so good that you have no need for weed. You find satisfaction in, in, in giving and growing and being useful and, and finding success in your life. And you just walk the other direction than the old way of doing things which is being stuck in the backwater, the back bong water of life, of the chronic weed addiction cycle. That sucks. I've been, I was in it for years and life is so much better without weed, but you do have to have some direction. Very good, that's what I got. If you found any value in this video, please like it and subscribe. Much love, uh, good to see you guys again. <laughs> All right, peace.